Wanderers scramble back. The crowd rises under Ryan Williams as he lifts in the cross, and it's a great defensive header. McInef! Falls kindly on the edge of the box for McInef. Too much time from a Western Sydney Wanderers point of view, and he puts his foot through it. Gets lucky. Tommy Oscock, the captain of this MacArthur side, in the absence of Uli Davila. Here is Miller taking on McGarry. Back to Arzani, driven in hard towards De Silva. To get in front of his man and just tap that one home into the near post, that's a really clinical goal. Tis Ballard, the other of that triumvirate in the middle of the park. And now McGarry invited forward and into the area. McGarry shoots brilliantly. Into the back of the net, that's delightful. that day when Aspro Potamidis got his first ever A-League goal as well as Ballard into the area. It's brilliantly done. The touchback for Cummings. From Central Coast, Jason Cummings, right place, right time as a striker does. And that is a very tidy finish. Nazani just comes out on top. Holman, though, doesn't. And Thea Harris away quickly, releasing Tulio. Marco Tulio hits it and scores! He finished very clinical, finds the far net in. And on this occasion, Philip Curto, who has been excellent this afternoon, outstretched, cannot get a fingertip to it. With the chance to score his second and the Mariners' fourth against a penalty expert in Philip Curto. That is a confidently hit penalty. Spoke about having his shooting boots on before the game. As Kitto outside him, he uses the decoy, two drawn two. Ryan Kitto, here's Goodwin again! Oh, brilliant! That trusty left peg of Craig Goodwin. Accidental as it was, from Jenkinson who blocked the shot, harmless in the first instance, and then from Goodwin then the Socceroo. Nothing Jack Duncan can do about that. Six wins and five draws, and here they come again. Kitto playing in Goodwin, the cutback, Zach Clough couldn't miss, two goals. Ball but close and onside for Goodwin, great cutback and then super, super cool from Zach Clough. It was Carl Jenkinson who went to win the ball on halfway, came up, ran about halfway, here's a go. Trent Baharja hitting the byline, cross just too high for Mikkel Tata, chance here though, 2-1. And he really nails this left foot effort. Naturally a right footer, head down. And not in the end as Dorigo nipped in. And Adelaide are back on the front foot. What a ball by Waller, Jovanovic! And that is the quality. Oh, what a moment for young Ivanovic and the pattern of the game reflected in this goal. Newcastle coughing the ball up. This is going to be line ball on the Harvey Norman replay for offside. We've got to actually tighten up and straighten up. It forward nicely by O'Neill and the Hard just kept it alive and they've got their second goal, the Jets! It has to be said, the goalkeeping of Joe Gauci, who's been excellent this year, but that's far from convincing. He's down on his knees. Gave the ball away to Rigo. It's four against three here for the Reds. Nestor Irakunda brings the thunder once again. There go the flips. Harvey Norman replay. Bad turnover from Newcastle. Mounting a challenge as they were. Dane Ingham coughs it up cold. Out to Moragas. The crowd find their voice. Savannah! Yeah, Joel King really, I'm sure, could feel Oscar Zavada's breath on the back of his neck. Jacob Spoonley, you had a good view of that. Brisbane in search of playing time. He gets that opportunity today. Oh, misunderstanding. And O'Neill pouncing on the loose ball. On the charge! What a finish! The park, and that is a ruthless finish. He does really well to just drive into a bit of space. And there's no Brisbane Raw defenders closing him down. Look at the shape. O'Shea against Glover. This for Brisbane Raw. And they score! Marisha with the corner, the header, and it's in, and it's Aiden O'Neill. Our post, 
you have to say, a well-deserved goal for Melbourne City in what has been a dominant performance. Might set up a chance here for Weston. Connor Payne hits the byline. Easy as you like at the back stick for Noah Bottic. The second ball. As it comes to Connor Payne, he has a little look up and he's got two uh, victory players in front of him. He just takes on his left foot and it's way too easy. Not getting too many chances. He strikes a free kick brilliantly. And victory at all square. Bruno Fornaroli's probably been a frustrated figure again tonight, but that's a wonderful finish. Hasn't probably got the service he would like. But when given the opportunity... It's a lovely ball by Kilkenny to pick out Connor Payne. And Priamis! Stares it into the bottom corner. Too much space for their strikers in the box. Harvey Norman replay shows Connor Payne brings it down well. He just scoops it into the box.